Okay guys, I thought I'd show you one of the biggest problems that a lot of developers come across is you have a door that's slightly too small and it's small enough to stop the zombies coming through and you'll find that you know sometimes they come through sometimes they don't and we've got another instance here this door that's here is just four inches wider and the same problems happens with that door and this is another four inches wider and it hardly ever happens with this door. However, the problem with having a door that wide is it might not fit into the design that you want to have for your map. So what I can do is show you how you can make a door that's smaller but still this wide. There's a workaround. So I'm going to jump into Radiant and show you exactly what you need to do to stop them piling up so easily. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, it's a very common problem that a lot of people suffer from and it might seem fine when you're testing but then over certain circumstances people find out that it's just not quite wide enough. If we go ahead and hide that and you see the distance here, that's 64 inches. That's a minimum width that you want for an entrance. However, let's say we want an entrance that's this wide, which is 48 inches wide but we don't want them to pile up but we can do a little trick that will help out so this one here is 48 inches wide and this one here is 64 so the difference is 16 so we need to add 8 to either side and if we go and look from above so we want to create a little brush there we can see that there we go that means we need one block wide to cut them down by so we're going to do that cut them at the moment I'm using control and right click and then shift and enter. I'm going to do the same with this one. Holding control, right click, right click, shift, enter. And now we have these two pieces here. And what we're going to want to do is right click and do non-colliding. This means that now the door is actually as wide as the door over there. However, players can walk through the edges and you don't want that. And we're going to need to add two clips to it to make it stop grenades and weapons from going through it and also to stop players from taking advantage of the wide door. So it's just the zombies that can. So we take a copy like that and we're gonna put it back and then we're gonna go T and we are gonna add a clip underscore player. You don't wanna add a normal clip because that clips zombies as well. Then we wanna do space again and put it back and we are going to do a weapon clip. So we can type in weapon and do that one there. And perfect. Now when we save and compile, it won't look any different to us. However, the zombies will have a much lower chance of getting stuck. And you might want to do the same thing when it comes to a corridor. And I'm going to just use the CSG hollow there. Let's delete these and do that. And you have some models in the way, like a rack, for example. Let's put that there. And let's just say that this rack that we've just added is clipped as well. And we want to do T and clip, which seems right. But then you have the same distance problem here. So what you might want to do is when you're clipping objects in hallways and you're limiting the width is to keep that as a player clip so we're going to go down and we're going to use the player clip and then we're going to replicate it and put it down like this and do a monster clip and that's called clip ai so we go up here and do clip ai clip ai so that the monsters go around it a bit and then we can also add in you're going to want to add in the weapon clip on the base here so that it deflects grenades like so and doing the clipping like this where you have player clips which are more constrictive and monster clips which are less constrictive you don't run into the same problem. So we're back in the game and we'll go over there and you'll see that it doesn't look any different and we can still, you know, we can't actually walk through it, but it will prevent zombies from piling up. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna give ourselves a weapon.
Okay, well, the door doesn't look any different to us, but it actually stops the zombies from glitching out so much because the zombies have just that little bit of extra room that greatly reduces the chance of them getting stuck on the door. And yeah, that's how I would suppose fixing it. And then we've got the uh, hallway as well. So let's go check out the hallway. They're not getting stuck there. Okay, so you see in the hallway as well, we the same thing's going on. Uh, the player is actually restricted by it, but the zombies aren't so much. And we've got the weapon clip in there as well, so that the grenades can, you know, they can sit in there. Otherwise, the grenades would fall through. So that's why we have the weapon clip in there. But yeah, that's what I would do to just fix it. And yeah, just remember it needs to be about 64 wide for it to not experience those problems. Uh, there's a chance it might still do it at 64, but in a very, it will be much, much rarer than with a small door like this where it happens quite frequently. But now this door won't because we've applied those changes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this has been useful for you. And stay tuned for some more tutorials. And yeah, this has been, this is it. Write any comments down below if you have any questions. Share this if it's helped you out. And subscribe, stay tuned. Take it easy, otherwise. See ya. Thank you.